Hello guys, welcome again to another short update on the A10. Um, we're almost there, we're almost done. Let me zoom you guys in, let me show you the little progress that I've been doing on the wheels and the landing gear, also the seat. Now the seat, uh, it's looking decent. Obviously the, the resin seat's gonna be 10 times better. Uh, but I was very pleased uh, once it's in the cockpit you know it looks a, a lot better so I was really pleased with that canopy I have a little bit of overspray over here on the bottom um, a little bit of the primer overspray um, that I'm gonna try some alcohol to rub it off I don't want to use lacquer because that damages the the plastic so wish me luck on that but it's just a little tiny bit uh, on the landing gear itself I've just been painting some detail to be honest I was gonna try uh, brake lines but I've never done that I'd rather practice first and then do it um, on the wheels you know I've been painting some detail on the ladder door obviously I'm gonna have the ladder on it and this door open uh, it's just a little um, decal there um, it has white it has white writing on it I don't know why they didn't think about that because the interior obviously is white so you can't see what it says but it says lizard uh, the weapons I've been decaling to be honest all those stripes you guys see here all those stripes um, here I'll I'll bring this one close to you, give you guys an idea. All those stripes are decals, and they could be a pain, you know, in the Yahoo. Um, <laughs> but to be honest, I think the best option will be to paint them, okay? Because right now they look like they have plastic strips on them. Um, they don't look realistic at all. Uh, it's just, it's been so hard to get rid of the... The glossiness of the of the decals um, I might I might just throw a, a flat coat on them I, I don't know yet but if I don't like them I'll remove them and I'm painting it's just painting is it's a lot more work but I think that's the best option for that all right now let me bring in the big mama or the beast Okay, here it is. All right, here's the big mama. Now, as you guys could see, the panel lines have been post shaded. What I did is I went back with Tamiya Smoke XF19. Oh, I'm sorry, X19. Uh, this is great stuff, guys. It looks like oil. It's great for washes. It's great for post shading. I'm pretty sure there's a couple more uses for it, uh, but it's a great, great tool. Even if you're not a Tamiya fan, this is a great tool to have. It's it's great for washes. Um, what I went back uh, and, and did was with my airbrush, thinned out paint about uh, I want to say 80% thinners to 20% paint. Um, and because what, what you want to do is you want to stain the panel lines you don't want to cover any of your paintwork you just want to stain them and it gives you that post shaded and weather look you guys could really see it here you know it gives you that that post shading look you know you see it on the engines right here I wanted to you know really emphasize on that because those are the the parts of the engines that get weather the most um, on the bottom you know you guys could see the bottom um, I, I wasn't too worried about the bottom to be honest but uh, because it's gonna be covered with with weapons and stuff but you could see it on the tail a little more you know that's the the solid effect that I was looking for you know the next step, obviously, I put the basic decals on them. When I say basic, I mean obviously the shark mouth. That just gives it that badass look. Look at that. Now picture this coming at you 
you know just looks sweet okay <clears throat> can you tell the A10 is one of my favorites <laughs> but um, I put the basic decals the next step will be to seal everything off with another uh, clear coat in this case we're using uh, future floor wax and that's gonna first of all protect my decals seal everything in but get ready the surface for the wash now for the wash I'm gonna be using uh, Tamiya smoke for the landing gear and the wheel wells I'm gonna be using um, the, the black wash from Flory models it's a great great wash uh, I put a little ball bearing in there just it helps it move it helps because it's clay based it separates a lot and and uh, it just it just helps it a lot and also I dropped a couple of uh, dish dish soap uh, in here it just breaks the 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 surface tension and it helps to blend in a little um, a lot more kind of like when you make a a, a wash with uh, shocks you know with uh, pastel shocks or pastels you know for my English friends out there but this is uh, this is a great wash guys I, I chose to use this one because it's a dark scheme and the black wash will blend in and kind of darken everything up and give it that that real weather look so that's where I'm at guys uh, one thing that I want to talk to you about is the medium green the medium green on this aircraft is really really green uh, and some river counters out there and well I shouldn't say that I apologize but a lot of people out there should um, be like oh, you know what that medium green doesn't look right the reason why is because 80% of the reference pictures have this type of green the yellow green you know um, it's called medium green but to me it looks more like a yellow green to give you an idea this is to me as yellow green except for and that's this color it's closer to what the medium green should look like but then again the 20% of other reference pictures that I've seen kind of look like this okay so you see it's up to you if you want to keep it like this or you want to just go and add more yellow green to it it's up to you uh, to me, I'm gonna leave it like this just because of the sake of um, uh, time. But if this was going to a show, um, to compete uh, competition, then I will go back with a little bit of uh, thinned out uh, yellow green and maybe a couple drops of this of the original color and just kind of uh, change the tonality of the green but since we've already done the post shading and all that stuff it's just more work I'm gonna leave it like this uh, like I show you that picture it looks okay but this is where I'm at guys we should have another video for the final reveal it's been a great great kit I love this kit uh, okay so join me next time for my next update should be the last one I want to be done with this um, soon and that way I can start breaking down and getting everything ready but uh, it's been great I still have a little bit of work to do but the next video should be the final reveal my name is Louis and thank you for joining me and happy modeling